Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta. I come from Norway and I love makeup. And as promised, I wanted to make my next video about the crystal shadows from Glam Shop because they released a bunch of crystal shadows and I got six of them. There are three more shadows that were not available as I placed my order, which I will be getting hopefully sometime soon, but I don't really know uh, how long until they were stock. I think they said something about like four to six weeks. These are the focus of this video. My previous one was on these multichromes that they also released, which I absolutely adore. <laughs> so definitely check that out as well if you haven't already. But I'm just going to do some finger swatches. I'm going to swatch them, show to you, and then swatch them on my arm. So if you're interested in seeing that, then please keep on watching. So the first one of the crystal eyeshadows is this one. It's called Jasper and it's kind of like, like it's one of the neutral ones. Um, it's a little bit taupey maybe. I think it's easier to see like that. Wow. <laughs> wow. Just look at how beautiful that is. Like I don't even know if I need to pick up anything more for this swatch because I still have some left on my finger. Definitely looks a little bit darker on the swatch than it actually does here. Or, I mean, I guess it matches. It's just so shiny. And like the base is a little bit deeper. So that's Jasper. Next is Yellow Sapphire. And this is definitely more yellow than the previous one. And I think it's a little bit lighter. Wow, they're so foiled and so shiny. I don't even know if I have anything that compares to this. Because the luxy ones I have that are foiled are not like this textured. Because you can really see all the sparkles in these ones. So it does seem like it's kind of the same depth. But definitely more cool toned. Then we have sparkling opal. And I do think this is slightly more like cool toned pink. Definitely looks a bit more silvery. But I think the next one will be like the most true silver. Like they're so similar yet you can really see the difference on them it's really weird so i hope that these swatches where you can see them next to each other helps when you're going to choose that which ones you want or not because like they are relatively similar but also not so that is sparkling opal here we have that silvery one that i was talking about this one is called mountain crystal and this is very silvery as you can see it's almost a little bit blue but then again the next one that i'm going to show you will be Definitely more of a blue one. So yeah, this is the one that's mostly silver. And they do have one from their advent calendar. I think it's called something with bomb or something. And that one is a lighter version of this, I believe. But I don't have that one. But just so you know that that looks to be very similar to this one. So this one is definitely the blue of the bunch. It is called aquamarine. So you can see that it is relatively silvery. But it does have that blue undertone in it. I'm really liking this formula though. It's so textured, sparkly and foiled at the same time, which is just incredible. And the last one that I picked up is this one is called Black Tourmaline. And this one I think will be perfect for a cool toned smoky eye. Like it's also kind of blue, but it's very dark. Yeah, you can definitely see it's almost like it's purple, but those are all of them and I'm so obsessed with these and I definitely have to have the ones that I did not pick up because these are just so incredible looking. So first here we have them with my flashlight lighting straight onto them. So you can really see all those micro sparkles and I feel like maybe this way you can see a little bit more of like the color difference in them as well. I hope because like some of them are very similar like for example this first one and this third one looks like they're quite similar apart from like the depth of the base and I guess well I guess the other ones are uh, definitely different enough and also the depth in those two that look a little bit similar is different enough for at least for me to say that I want both but look how shiny these are probably some of the like shiniest shadows I have, but at least now you saw all of them with the flash. You can see just how sparkly and gorgeous they are. And here you have them all right next to each other. So you can see which ones you want to pick up 
And they do look a little bit more similar when you are off a distance and they probably will look more similar on the eye as well. But at least here they are. Okay, so I did quite a few comparisons here, so I'm just going to see if I remember all of them. <laughs> uh, so this one will be Mountain Crystal by Glam Shop, which is the new crystal shadow. Then here we have Moonlit by Davina, which I was very pleasantly surprised to know that <laughs> uh, the Glam Shop one is actually more textured, because I was kind of sad that I did not order the new uh, Davina collection with like all different colors of this formula. And now to see that this one is a little bit more like, I don't know, textured, foiled. And if you have this Moonlight, you know how sparkly and beautiful that is. So then you should know like how sparkly and beautiful these are. But they do have a slightly deeper base, like a bit more contrast between the base and the shine. So if you do want something slightly, I guess you could say lighter, not necessarily too much softer, then maybe the Divina ones are for you instead. But my personal preference would be this one actually. So that is Mountain Crystal by Glam Shop, Divina Moonlit, and I did also want to swatch this one which is Schlagier. I think it's called Hit um, in English. Uh, the Polish name is Schlagier. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I just felt like that was slightly similar maybe, just a bit more like golden toned. Um, I guess I could also swatch the yellow sapphire um, towards that one since it's a little bit more, yeah, I mean, completely different. Uh, that was yellow sapphire, the one that I just swatched, and Schlagier or Hit is way more like greenish tone and of course not as intense as these uh, new formulas that they have. And uh, then we have this one. This one is the new crystal shadow in Aquamarine. And then I compared it with two other silvers that um, Glam Shop has. So this one is Fireworks, uh, and then this is Flara. Um, so I think it means flare uh, in English. So obviously this one, Aquamarine, is a little bit more uh, foiled, intense. I did have to build up these two uh, with two swatches. That I did not have to do with this one. It was like an instant <laughs> pigment swipe. So you do see that they are relatively similar, but I will say that the new formula is more intense. And then I had some requests to compare with Lunar uh, from Glam Shop. So that is Lunar. That is like the perfect black, um, black shimmer basically with a lot of like blue in it. And this one will be Black Tourmaline, which is from the new Crystal Shadows. And under here we have Professional Diver also from Glam Shop, which I just wanted to show you because it's more kind of like in the undertone that uh, this one has, Black Tourmaline. So Professional Diver is just a little more subtle, not as sparkly, not as foiled, not as textured. Like I would say these are extremely unique to me and my collection when it comes to formulas. And I do hope that they expand on their colors because literally <laughs> the pigmentation is so awesome. Like just look at how foiled this is. Just as like a last minute add, I did want to swatch Glaminatrix Flourish just because that is like the most intense silver that I've had in my collection up until now. So you can see that that is probably the best comparison for like these more silvery toned ones. So again, this one is a little bit warmer toned. So this is uh, Mountain Crystal and this is Flourish and then we have this one which is Aquamarine. Um, so... I guess that's the one that's more similar. I don't know. They're all pretty similar as you can see. But I do feel like there's just something special about how... Like, it, you can't even say that it shifts. It's just how, like, the base looks compared to when the light hits it. But you can see that this one has a little bit of that same effect. But Glaminatrix only has this one that I know of in this formula. So definitely look into these if you are interested in the, this kind of formula. So yeah, I guess that's all the comparisons. Those were the swatches. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I cannot wait to actually use these on my eye. They just look so beautiful and perfect for like a neutral look, but also a more colorful one where you just want super shiny stuff on your lid. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a comment down below what you thought 
of these shadows? Are you picking them up or have you already picked them up? I would love to hear your opinions and thank you so much for watching. Bye!